Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Jack, the muscle and mobility maker with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you the number one exercise you need to know for strong, healthy, and stable shoulders. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine, and it doesn't get better than that. So take advantage of it. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this one. All right, like I said, Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the number one exercise that you need to know to build strong, healthy, stable shoulders. And it's gonna give you many more benefits than that, honestly. So it's gonna be a full body thing that's going on here, but the shoulders are a big result of it. And that exercise is the bent press. Now, if you've never heard of the bent press before, this is because it is a true classic exercise. It was really popular somewhere around the 1890s with old strong men and this is the people who were performing it most regularly but around world war one it started to get labeled as a dangerous exercise which really is misleading okay it was called a trick it was called dangerous and it kind of carried that and still kind of carries that notion today but just like any exercise it can be dangerous to perform when you don't know how to truly perform it well. And that's where most people run into trouble. The thing is that, ironically enough, when this exercise is be per being performed the least, we're still seeing high rates of shoulder injuries and high rates of spinal injuries in the gym today. So maybe it's not quite the exercise itself but how it's being done right okay so there are some prerequisites to the bent press that we would want to make sure that we're able to do before we fully try and go at it 100 percent and tackle it and that is first of all the ability to hinge that is going to be a key component so if you cannot do a quality hinge deadlift where you're loading your posterior chain really feeling your hamstrings in that hinge that is something that we're going to want to nail down first it can also be helpful to learn the windmill position or the arm bar position even before the windmill so the arm bar is going to look at the shoulder stability and thoracic rotation that is necessary for this movement and the windmill will combine that hinge with that thoracic rotation and shoulder stability. So if you have those pieces down, a good solid hinge, your ability to thoracic rotate the thoracic spine, and you have the ability to stabilize the shoulder through pretty much its full range of motion in that arm bar and that rotational piece, then you are going to be good to go for this bent press. So you might take it in stages by learning those pieces here first, and we can show you those in small snippets going into it here, and then we will talk about how to actually go about the bent press safely. And that is going to build strong hip hinge, strong thoracic spinal rotation, and strong shoulders, and if we're talking about shoulder health specifically, it starts with thoracic spinal health. So if you can rotate well, your shoulders are gonna be well protected, plus that stability aspect. When we combine the hinge with the shoulders, it's a universal stability through the core. You're gonna really build some incredible core strength through this exercise that will feed up into healthy sh shoulders and down below into stronger legs. So I label it as the number one exercise you need for your shoulders, but honestly, this is just a good overall exercise for your full body, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it and look at some of the key pieces that you wanna build up first before getting into the bent press and then we'll break down the bent press itself. All right, let's start with the prerequisite movements here. So first of all, we're gonna work on building our solid hinge. What we really wanna do here is feel. So I'm using a kettlebell to simply feel myself pushing my hips back toward the wall, loading my hamstrings with each rep. You'll notice my shoulder blades are held down and back, elbows rotated in toward the ribs. My feet are parallel. You can see a nice arch in my foot because I'm externally rotating at the hips. So my knees are pulling open through the movement in both directions. 
This helps keep stability through the knee in the movement and will be important when you transition to the bent press exercise. So our key here is loading the hips and hamstrings each time we send back into the deadlift move here. All right, next we're gonna do the arm bar. So here I'm using two hands to get myself set, rolling from my side to my back, and then helping with that free hand to press the weight. I wanna reach the free hand up overhead. I'm gonna roll, pushing through the leg over to the side, and we're gonna start, first of all, with the knee bent, okay? Reaching the kettlebell up to the ceiling, you'll notice my knuckles point directly to the ceiling as if I was punching the ceiling flat there, okay? We can hold in this position and do different exercises from here. Technically, you could try like a screwdriver rotating at the shoulder. Here, I'm showing you the full arm bar, so I'm getting my pelvis all the way rotated to the floor as I'm reaching for the sky, keeping that shoulder in a stable position. And now, as I come back out of it, what I'm gonna do is step that leg back over and lower the weight back down where we started. <laughs> to transition to the other side, I wanna swing it overhead with both arms and set up the same way. So we're using both hands again to load the weight, press it up, and then reach to the sky from the free arm, rotate over, get that knee to the floor. That's a hard little transition there. Your core will get a little bit of work trying to get the leg over and stabilize that at the same time. Hold steady with the shoulder blade locked on the upper back, reaching toward the ceiling, and if you can, of course, get the pelvis flat to the floor, squeezing the glutes, keeping the arm reaching the whole time. Eventually, you can add presses to this, you can add screwdrivers, you can do them bottoms up, there's different varieties, but as long as you have this basic form down and you're able to perform it, we can go on to our bent press. All right, the last of our prerequisites is the windmill. It puts the two together. So what we're doing is reaching toward the ceiling. I need to be able to hinge back. You'll notice that one leg bends, the one closest to the arm that's reaching. As the other stays straight, the key is shooting the hips back and being able to reach down and then rotate back up to full standing. This is very similar to our bent press position taking it through a similar range of motion. So if you can do this windmill, you're pretty much ready to go for our bent press as well. All right, and now we're on to the real deal. So I'm gonna load that bell in the front rack. I wanna start by rotating so that I can get the back of my arm on my ribs packed tight there. I'm gonna start reaching my hips, leaning forward, sending my hips back, driving my knees wide, and then from there, I'm lowering my upper body under the weight. This is the deceiving part about the bent press. You're not pressing the weight, you're pressing your torso underneath the weight to extend the arm. So imagine the weight holding stationary and lowering your torso closer to the floor while you hold that weight stationary to get the arm to full extension. Watch it again here on the second rep. I'm gonna get it to that front rack position, load it up on the forearm, rotate first, Get the back of the arm tight to the ribs, hips back, knees bending open, hinging, and now lowering under the weight, pressing my body underneath it, keeping the weight stationary and standing back strong and tall. All right, and there you have it. The number one exercise that you need to have in your arsenal to build strong, healthy shoulders, spine, hip, strong core, you name it, the bent press. I hope you found this video helpful. If you've never heard of it before, I encourage you to give it a go. Start small, obviously, and build your way up. Work in those steps, building up your arm bar, your windmill, your hinge properly, making sure that you are able to do those things well, and then go about the bent press safely in good form. That's always the key. Any exercise can injure you. It's about knowing how to perform it well. So that is up to you on that end. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below. Take a moment to share this one with a friend. Maybe they struggle with shoulder health. If they've had reoccurring shoulder injuries, it might be something that they can work toward to help restore their shoulder health overall that would be worth practicing for them. And if you are somebody who struggles with 
reoccurring training aches or injuries or your shoulder health is off, your spinal health is off, and you really wanna get to move better in the next 12 weeks or less, make sure you drop down below in the description here to fill out the coaching application and schedule your mobility blueprint call. We'll get you on that call, assess your current movement, develop your mobility blueprint, and have you moving in the right direction so that you can be moving pain-free and strong in 12 weeks time. So that sounds good to you. Drop down there right now, fill out those questions, pick a time that works for you, and we'll get you on that call so that we can have you moving forward as soon as possible. Last but not least, if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine, and it does not get better than that. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. See you next week.